Welcome to the SASEonline.com tutorial for registering to participate in the SASE DSM-5 research study. If you are willing to evaluate clients for the presence of a substance use disorder and submit a DSM-5 diagnosis checklist before seeing the SASE screening results, you will want to watch the rest of this video. The questionnaires are free during this limited time study and you can opt out at any time. The research data will be used to further advance our SASE 3 and SASE A2 instruments. To protect you and your clients, the data is de-identified before use. We will begin this tutorial at the SASEonline.com account dashboard. When you first log in, you will be at the News and Updates tab that all users have in their dashboard. This tab provides information from SASE that is specific to SASE Online users. As a primary clinical contact or a counselor for an organization, you will also have the My Clients tab where you can currently administer and review reports for purchased questionnaires. If you have purchasing privileges for the organization, you will also see a Purchasing and Distribution tab. The Purchasing and Distribution tab is where credit card purchases for questionnaires are completed. The last tab is the My Account tab. Here you will find information about available questionnaires to administer that have been purchased and added to the account distribution group. All users have a My Account tab. To enroll in the research study, first we need to be on the News and Updates tab. Here you will see the announcement about the SASE DSM-5 validation study. When you click Learn More, the next screen will provide more background information about the study and how to take advantage. This page contains valuable information, so please be sure to read before proceeding. Once you have read this information, you will then need to click Yes, I would like to participate in order to proceed. If you haven't filled out a qualification form, or you filled out your qualification form before August 6, 2012, you will need to update your qualification information. You will now see the disclosure statement that you must agree to in order to participate in the study. If you decline to accept the disclosure statement, you will be returned to the dashboard where you can continue to administer SASE questionnaires and not participate in the research study. After clicking Accept and Return to the Dashboard, you will then be returned to your dashboard. Now you have successfully registered to complete free SASE online questionnaires as a part of the SASE DSM-5 research project. You will now see that you have an added tab to your account dashboard, the Research tab. You will use the Research tab as a workspace to assign research questionnaires to clients and submit DSM-5 diagnostic information. Let's get started by clicking on the Research tab and learn how to administer free questionnaires. On the left you will see an Administer button, much the same as the My Clients tab. Please note that you cannot administer free research questionnaires from the My Clients tab. You must administer from the Research tab. To administer a questionnaire, click the Administer button and you will see several options. The first two are the options to administer the Adult SASE 3 and the Adolescent SASE A2. The steps to administer questionnaires are the same, so we'll just pick this one. After entering the demographic information, you will be asked if you would like to enter the DSM-5 checklist information now or later. Also note that you can print out a blank copy of the DSM-5 checklist and complete it by hand for later entry. Let's click now and take a look at the DSM-5 checklist. The DSM-5 checklist will open and you will be prompted to complete the diagnostic information. After you have completed this first part, click Calculate Totals and the totals will be calculated for you. If you fail to answer one of the questions, you will be prompted to provide an answer for the specific question or questions you missed. In the following section, you will be asked to indicate all substances for which this client has or had a substance use disorder. If you indicate that the client has or had a substance use disorder, then the remission section will be made available. Here you will be required to indicate that information. 
The final section of the DSM-5 checklist is to indicate at the beginning of treatment your client's readiness for change. Please select one of the following options. Now you have completed the DSM-5 checklist. Click Submit to proceed. If you choose to cancel, this will cancel out of the process of assigning the questionnaire and you will be taken back to the dashboard. After clicking Submit, you will be presented with the standard delivery options. Once the questionnaire and the DSM-5 checklist are completed, the client will then be moved to the My Clients tab. This is where you will be able to review the report and questionnaire responses as usual by selecting the Client and then clicking the Results button in the My Clients tab. If when assigning a questionnaire you decide to complete the DSM-5 checklist later, the client will remain in the Research tab until the questionnaire is complete and the DSM-5 checklist has been entered. To enter the DSM-5 checklist after you have already assigned the questionnaire, select the client from the Client list in the Research tab, then click the button that says Enter DSM-5, and the DSM-5 checklist will open for entry. Please note the DSM-5 checklist is also available as a downloadable PDF. If you choose to print and complete the form, you will still be required to enter the information into the online form. It should also be noted that the DSM-5 online information, once entered, is not available for review or access once entered. If you would like to retain this information, it is highly recommended that you print and complete the paper version for your record. If, after entering the client demographics, you chose to enter the DSM-5 checklist later and your client has completed the questionnaire, the report will not be available until the checklist is completed. If you decide you would not like to enter the DSM-5 information, you do have the option to remove the client from the research study. However, since the questionnaire is free when fulfilling the research requirements of entering the diagnosis information, you will be required to have a paid questionnaire available to remove the client from the study and gain access to the report. You may do this by selecting the client from the client list on the research tab, then clicking the opt out button. Once you have removed the client from the study, they are moved to the My Clients tab where you are deducted one questionnaire from your available questionnaires in your account. When clicking the opt out button, you may also see that you are able to opt out of the study entirely. By doing this, any remaining completed questionnaires will be deducted from your available questionnaires and moved to the My Clients tab. Thank you for your interest in our research project and for watching this video. We hope that you are very satisfied with SASE products. If you need assistance, please give us a call at 1-800-726-0526.